in and the laundry room. It's more of a studio than a house. His house is littered with bizarre electronic inventions. He's obsessed with electricity. But constant contact with it produces painful side effects. It produces some kind of static or something. The old bed felt like pins in my back all night. Most of the furniture in the house is plastic, which prevents electricity flowing into or out of his body. People don't believe that electricity passes through my body. Jose claims his body can withstand and conduct high levels of electricity. But is his power, if real, dangerous? He's going to a repair shop and do all the tricks he do with electricity. He's so confident that it's happy to be thoroughly tested by experts both in Puerto Rico and abroad. Scientists have become intrigued by Jose's claims. It might flow through the heart and, and in the worst case stop the heart beating and then it, would, it could be fatal. There is no doubt that allowing electricity to run through your body can be deadly. Electricity is one of the most destructive forces on Earth. But what is it and how is it formed? Everything contains atoms, okay, and it has a, a positively charged nucleus, which is surrounded by a negatively charged cloud of electrons. And electricity is, m is the movement of those electrons from one part of a material to another part of a material. The flow of electric charge or electrons can't be seen. It's a form of energy that we harness and use to power our homes. Jose intends to use electricity from a typical plug socket for his demonstration. He stops at a hardware shop to buy a variety of lights. He plans to illuminate them with his finger as evidence to show the electricity passes through his body. He's not shown anyone this extraordinary ability in 12 years. In the past, I was always alone and anonymous. I don't like people to promote what I do. Jose will demonstrate his gift at his place of work, a small rundown TV repair shop owned by Jesus Riviera Diaz. First, he dismantles a television so a live wire is exposed. The electricity will flow into it when it's plugged in. When he holds the wire, an electrical current will flow through him and fire out of his fingers. But what makes this demonstration dangerous? The dangerous thing about electricity is when it is passed through your body. So when a current is passed through your body, body an electric current, um, and effectively in order to have an electric current to flow, you need to have something called a voltage. Voltage is like pressure. So if you have a water supply, the water comes out of the tap at a certain pressure. Current is like the amount that flows. So again, in water, the current would be like the volume of water that comes out of the tap. The voltage which can the current around will be 110 volts. The current, or amount of electricity flowing, should be over 60 amps, fine for household appliances, but far too high for most humans to withstand. The TV is plugged into the main power line and the electricity surges through the back of the TV. To make electricity flow, you first of all got to have a voltage. And you've also got to have a circuit around which that voltage can push the electrons. So it can push the current flow around a loop. Jose is making a circuit for electricity to flow. Part of that circuit is him. Standing on a non-conductive plastic milk crate to control the electricity and stop it escaping to the ground, Jose's left hand touches the main electricity supply. Normally when we're using the mains 
the current is flowing out of the live terminal through whatever the, the appliance is and back into the neutral. And apparently this man is doing the same thing. The current is flowing into one arm, across his chest, down the other arm and back into the neutral. Jose shows no visible pain as the current passes through his body, completing the circuit. live and neutral. I would expect that a current would flow through them, might give them a nasty shock, and might be fatal. The minute the electricity touches his fingers, it should flow through or across his arm, making the muscles contract and twitch, damaging his body. I would say that what he's doing is, is extremely dangerous. The current, when it flows in your body, heats your body and then burns your, your, your flesh. As the electricity surge follows the shortest route to the ground, it travels across his arm to his chest. The shock should damage his heart by blocking signals from the brain. Effectively, the electrical current will interfere with the natural nerves that are conducting electricity from the brain, which tell the heart to beat. The body creates tiny electrical impulses that make our muscles move, but the strong current overrides them, leading to shutdown. Your heart will actually stop so that it's not actually pumping your blood anymore. But Jose's body appears unscathed, with no ill effects from the electricity. With the power surging into the TV, it could be lethal for anyone but Jose to get too close, as the electricity could jump to them. When he touches the television set, he is live. And so if somebody touches him, then they'll get a shock because he is touching something that is at 12 kilowatts. When I touch him, I feel the shock, and I feel the heart that say, boom, boom. Now Gabrielle is going to feel down for about 30 minutes. The demonstration stops, but Jose has only just started. He wants to prove beyond doubt that his body has miraculous powers, leaving scientists dumbfounded as they hunt to explain how he survives the most lethal demonstrations.